Arden Tech Days je festival, kde sa snažíme spojiť kultúru, umenie, dizajn s technológiami a showcaseovať alebo ukázať toto spojenie a jeho pridanú hodnotu jednak pre mesto, pre komunitu a pre možno ako keby priestor na inovácie, ktoré my stále hľadáme na nejakom rozhraní sektorov alebo medzi sektorovej spolupráci. Tento rok je téma change alebo zmena po slovensky alebo ako sme sa uh, dozvedeli, že možno, že lepší titul by bol transformácia. You only need to change when the environment has changed so much that if you stay the same, you won't survive. Mistakes are not rewarded here. They are avoided. You've got to deal with your past history that makes mistakes fearful. If you're ever going to innovate fast, quickly, you must make mistakes, because that's how you learn. Just looking at the, at the digital uh, environment around us, I think art is able to kind of uh, help to shift. Discussion about technology away from technology alone. They are even able to help us to understand what tools we should use for the sake of a sustainable, positive, humanistic change. But the artists should keep artists. They should stay not in their nutshell, but they should like be aware from where they are coming. Ja si myslím, že sme sa naučili veľmi nedobrému neduhu, že očakávame ako keby ne, nekončiať sa zmenu, ako keby, že všetko sa musí vždy meniť, všetko musí byť vždy v ne, nekonečnom raste a tie instantné zmeny nevždy musia byť tie najlepšie zmeny. A zároveň tým, že sme v rámci tej našej rezidencie alebo toho projektu ľudia, ktorí celý život žijú v podstate kvázi v jednom meste, my sme zároveň svetkami neuveriteľných zmien, ktoré sa za posledné dekády stali. Technológie, ktoré sú nám k dispozícii, nám dávajú určité spektrum možností, ktoré je limitované či už našimi schopnosťami alebo schopnosťami tej technológie. A tieto limity my musíme nejakým spôsobom akceptovať a pretaviť ich do reálneho diela. Celý ten Life Act vznikol tu, priamo na mieste v Kunsthalle, čiže to bude celé site specific. V rámci tých technológií pracujeme s jej výstupom a transformujeme dáta do vizuálneho obsahu, ktoré potom miešame naživo s nejakými predpripravenými alebo generovanými sekvenciami. all these democratic systems that forget even the democratic values. That contradictionary, so to speak, is a value of democracy. Uh, but it requires curiosity towards the people who have a different opinion. You don't, doesn't mean that you, that you have to change your mind. But listening to others, what they think when they look at the same things, could be a wonderful benefit in understanding like uh, the picture in front of us uh, as a bigger picture. In real industries, it's like art and technology industries are really far away from each other, where they actually should work together. So the thing what unites us is climate change, is that we have to work together. But the reality of the system is there are walls everywhere, they don't talk to each other. So the solution would be just talking with each other. And that's basically what we have to do. So we don't have the time to change the entire system but we can choose how to deal with it and how to communicate with each other. Because that's the only bridge we can do. Everything else, merging industries together, will take too long. I think that it is important that the, the intentions are transparent about mm -hmm. what you're designing. It can be a product, it can be a service, it can be uh, an installation, an experience. Uh, uh, 
th there is something about being transparent in your intentions that I think is, is very important from, uh, from a design perspective. What's your name, sir? Uh, Michael. Michael? Yeah. Come and take a seat. Come on down, Michael. Take a seat. This is for you. Um, okay, so this is not the Dalai Lama we're looking at here. Michael's obviously a nice man, but he's not the Dalai Lama. But he is able to get his, change his physiology within a minute, half a minute. Za posledné dva roky, vlastne od korony, keď začal projekt Košice 2.0, sme sa aj ako organizácia rozrástli, v podstate skoro dvojnásobne, vďaka tomuto projektu. A priniesli sme taký, takú tému, ktorou sa chceme dlhodobo zaoberať, že well-being, alebo to, ako prostredníctvom zmeny kvality služieb môže mesto meniť kvalitu života obyvateľov. A tam využívame proste data, transparentnosť, open data. A... Ale to, čo by sme chceli dosiahnuť, je zmena kultúry fungovania mesta. Či už mesta ako magistrátu, alebo mesta ako komunity, alebo ekosystému. A to je niečo, čo v sebe asi prinesie zmenu. 